Well, Scott, uh, Spartans always seem to prove a tough test at Excelsior. You did get the job done, goals started coming in. How did you find that one tonight? It was a tough game. It was a, a, a game where I felt we started fairly well, uh, moved the ball about well, and uh, then just sort of fell into a, a sort of slack stage. And you know, I think a lot of that was down to Spartans and how well they they pressed and their energy. And uh, some of it was down to the fact that our passing game was a little bit off um, at that stage of the game, and we didn't move the ball particularly well. We gave up possession at times. Um, we didn't deal with some of their longer balls in the air. We weren't putting our head through it. So I think that um, you know that that's a, a major thing that if you allow teams to um, get on top of you and, and, and you know play play longer balls where they are winning second ball, then it can pose real problems. And I, I felt that Spartans did that. But you know all the while I did feel comfortable with the fact that. Um, that we would get our chances and, and we would take them when they came along. And how crucial it was at that pivotal moment, the second half, there's a couple of good chances Spartans had, could have maybe clawed them back at 2-0 at the mm -hmm. stage and then up at the end, Haley scores a couple of goals in relatively quick succession. Yeah, and I think that, that does help that when the opposition are higher up the park sometimes, that uh, they commit more bodies forward, that it can leave you know some spaces in behind and we have, you know, players that can exploit that and uh, you know you're always feeling you know positive about the fact that another chance like that will come along and that one of our players will will take it so you know I thought that there was some some really good performances um, as far as you know our, our players not um, getting too frustrated they kept working hard they they knew that they would they would create um, despite the fact that they also knew that they weren't playing at their best so you know I was really happy with the with the clean sheet and the three points again. Not to repeat a question from Sunday, but another opportunity for an academy player. How well do you think Laura did? Because she seemed to settle quite quickly into the game. Laura's a really good young player. Um, she's she's very young, and uh, she's a player that I've sort of been you know watching in in the youth academy for for a number of months now, and it's you know a, a, a good opportunity at this stage in the season and. In a, in a game where we eventually managed to sort of put the game to bed to, to, to bring a, a young player on and allow her to, to get a feel for things. And I thought she did really, really well. And, you know, the the, the young players that we have um, integrated with the, with the first team squad and training and in games um, over the last three or four months, they've all done really, really well. And I'm, I'm uh, you know, really... Um, you know, positive about how their development is and how their their, their future will be at the at the club. And I think um, at the moment we've we've utilised them well and they've really enjoyed being part of the the first team. Just finally, I know on Sunday you talked about finishing you know farewell to the Excelsior with a win. Got that tonight. Mm. Just over certainly City have played here for three years. You've been here for the last couple of years. Is there a game or a moment that stands out at the stadium? Uh, I think I think the. The the games that uh, that we've played that have been the deciders for the the, the title, um, just some of the goals I think as well, Callum. We've scored so many really really good goals um, here, and you know because the pitch is quite big, it's allowed us to play uh, in an attacking sense some wonderful football at times. I can't say there's really one um, moment that sticks out, but you know. Um, I think that when you see games, uh, you know, end in a win that that are you know on the edge, and they 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 mean you know that you're going to win a league. Then I think these are the ones that um, stand out, and obviously the ones um, against Hibs that we've had here have been really good games. Okay, we'll see about memories in the future. Come up, Peter Sill. Well done tonight. Thanks very much, Callum. Cheers.